Hey guys, Scleroderm is smarter here. Saturday, February 4th, and I am in the hospital. So I have to take it back a couple days, weeks ago, and tell you what happened. So I got these wheat tortillas from the Mexican market. I was photographing clothes, so I was laying them on the floor to photograph them for the reselling business. So I got hungry, made myself a little tortilla like the Mexicans do on the stove, put some butter in it, and just had it as a quick snack. So as I was bending over, I felt a lot of pressure up into my chest. And when I stood up, I sat down on my chair, and then all of a sudden, I just, I felt like I had to throw up. So I ran to the bathroom, my son came out, I was kind of vomiting a little bit there, okay. And I started to get this bad pain on my rib cage on the right. Now I thought it was from the dry heaving, from the costochondritis and stuff like that. Okay, so I have this pain on the right side. So days goes on, days goes on. Um, it still hurts. I feel very nauseous, very motion sickness. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm still going on day by day. So I take Rio um, last week on the 30th or 31st. I take uh, Rio to Palm Springs on the 30th to Palm Springs to go see Harry Styles, which was on the 31st, and then we were leaving the 1st. So, um, yeah, I was, I was struggling a little, you know, but still having fun, still, still fighting through it. Went to Harry Styles, um, woke up in the morning, and I noticed the pain on my right side was gone. So cool. So I went to the bathroom, and I had, well, I'm going to be honest, you know, I'm always raw on this. I had a really foul-smelling urine. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay. Something happened. Um, something got joggled loose. Something's going on. I do have kidney stones on the left side. This pain was on the right side. So I come home on Wednesday and I um, and I call my primary care because I knew I had to get blood and I ask her to put a urine thing through. Okay, so I went yesterday, Friday, um, in San Diego to go get blood. And give urine, and when I did, I noticed it was a little tiny, bloody fibrous thing, and I touched it, and it was it was kind of hard. I'm thinking, you know what? I just passed a kidney stone. Cool. Wasn't having much pain in my back anymore. Um, you know, everything was feeling fine. Okay. The day went on. The day went on. And I started getting more and more pains in my back. Yeah. More and more pains in my pelvis. Still went on. I had to go mail off three things. Saw two friends at the post office. Picked up Scott. Came home. Um, and it just started getting worse and worse and worse and worse. We went to Walmart, and like the last 15, 10, 15 minutes of Walmart, I was like, you know what, we got to go. I was freezing for the first time in my whole scleroderma life. My fingertips were numb. They were numb, and they were purple, and the Walmart was freezing cold. So this is the, this is the, I don't have Renaud's. So we get in the car, and I tell him something's wrong. I don't feel good. Something's wrong. So we get home, and he un unloads the car, I park the car, and I feel like hot and, and, and uh, kind, of, kind of loopy. <laughs> Go inside, I lay down, I tell him, just let me rest for a minute, please. I lay down, and the pain in my back is hurting more and more, and in my groin, it's starting to hurt my left side. It's starting to go up my left side into my, my pit. Um, I was just in pain, so I called my doctor, I was like, 450 and they said go to urgent care but go to the urgent care in La Jolla so I came to the urgent care in La Jolla they did some tests and they said you know what you need to get to the ER right now so they, Scott brought me here to the ER and, and the urgent care had told him that, that I was coming over and we only waited I think I, I don't know I don't know I, it didn't seem like we waited a long time so as I'm sitting there it's getting worse it's getting worse it's getting worse and I guess I was starting to hallucinate because Scott said that all I kept talking about was beans, beans and Harry Styles. Like everything was beans. Like I couldn't get any other word out but beans. So they take me in and uh, hook me up to machines. They do all that stuff. Get urine tests, blood tests, and find out that I have, I have a UTI. I have a kidney infection that has be made me go sepsis. So I, I, it was just too much. Plus, I got E. coli. And this was all last night. I don't remember much waking up today in the hospital. I'm still hooked up to machines. They're giving me some magnesium right now. And um, they said if I would have waited or not come in, things could have probably ended bad, badly with the sepsis. So, yeah. So now I have to stop taking 
my immune, immune suppressants because we got to make my immune system build up to fight this infection. And I will be here. Now, it's, I've been here since last night, so it's going to be about 24 hours. And I don't know what's going to happen. I, and they even had to put me on oxygen yesterday because my, like, oxygen level was was really bad. And with all the blood, I was like, no, they have to. And they called a pulmonologist in. And I was like, so do you usually use oxygen at home? I'm like, no, I don't use oxygen. And then, so he was looking at the, he was like, oh, okay, good, good thing that they caught that and they put you on oxygen. So I got off of it this morning. Uh, I guess, the, you know, I do tests every couple hours and test it. And then they're waiting for one, they gave me antibiotics yesterday, but they're waiting for a certain antibiotic to give to me. And I think it was like, I don't know, she said it, it's going to take at least two days for it to go through, for them to give me the clear. So I will be here in the hospital. Well, right now I'm in this little ER section, like an overflow, but I guess they're just trying to find a room. And, uh, yeah, so happy February.